Hi everyone, let's take a quick look at the Taskmaster figure from the Red Skull Wave of Marvel Legends. This is coming out uh, in, in connection with the Captain America 3 Civil War movie. Here's what you get inside of the packaging. You get the actual Taskmaster figure, a Red Skull Build-A-Figure head, a second head for Taskmaster, and a couple, of just two accessories with this figure, the shield and the sword. Here he is outside of packaging, battle ready, and uh, they've changed his figure around quite a bit. Now he has this type of armored look uh, as opposed to the older Taskmaster that we have. Here's a close-up. You can see this kind of like metallic look around him as if he uh, was a knight or, or that type of armor look. He, of course, has this famous Taskmaster shield with the giant T on it. Here he is in comparison to some of the an older Red Skull figure, but you can see him standing with uh, Hydra, uh, the, the mighty army of Hydra that I have built there, ready for some action. Here's a close-up of the first head, and, and we have uh, one of these unfortunate floating hood things where the, the figure has a hood attached to the head of the figure, but it doesn't actually attach to anything else. Uh, and to be honest, it really looks kind of awkward on the figure because, again, it doesn't attach to anything, and the whites don't actually match up with the whites on the body. They use kind of a different tone of paint. Here's the second head that you can do, and, and this one is even uh, kind of farther removed from the, the, the classic Taskmaster, if you will. And to me, it just kind of looks like a... Uh, well, a futuristic looking Doctor Doom figure, if you want to do uh, the Day of Tomorrow, or, you know, he even kind of looks like this figure, which isn't even from Marvel. This is the animated figure from the Batman set uh, of the animated figures. There you go, the Mask of the Phantasm. Uh, you might find that in your stores as well. Here he is in comparison to the old Taskmaster, and you can see, again, they've done a lot of significant changes. Uh, the biggest uh, kind of disappointment with the new Taskmaster is uh, when you look at the old Taskmaster, he literally looked like he came from a superhero garage sale. He had nunchucks, a cane, a sword, a pistol, a shield, a sheath to hold all these things, and he even came with a little flying scooter. Uh, the new Taskmaster, again, he must be a Darth Lord of the Sith now because he comes with a lightsaber and uh, a, a repainted Captain America shield, and, well, that's about it. Uh, you get the head, the red skull head for the Onslaught figure, and if you're anything like myself, uh, you're really wondering why we didn't just get the original Onslaught head instead of uh, this kind of one-off red skull head. Here he is with his stable mate, as I call it, uh, the Demolition Man, who is about as obscure a figure as you can imagine. Uh, within the Marvel Universe, but if you don't like uh, that figure, uh, one of the things I've noticed you can kind of do is you can actually use the heads uh, interchangeably with the Demolition Man figure, and you can give yourself uh, two different versions of Taskmaster if you're into that. Uh, that's about it. Thanks so much for looking, and uh, look again for more of my quick reviews.